Hey friends, welcome back. Now we are going to continue our Next.js project series. In this video, we are going to create a global state for our whole application, right? So as you can see, even after logged in, I'm a logged in user, but I can still see sign up and sign in buttons. I can see a static error warning. So we should update these values, right? We should show a logout button over here instead of sign up and sign because I'm a logged in user, right? So if you go and check your, uh, if you go and check your cookie, you can see the token inside your application. So if you go click application, and here we show localhost, and here you can see the token. So this token exists, and I am a logged in user. Why I am saying this sign up sign in? So for that we are going to create uh, the global state, and for that we are going to use React hooks. And just to save some time, I'm gonna do something. Here, uh, let's in the client folder. I'm going to create a folder. Uh, here we'll say context right context and in this context folder i'm going to create an index.js file so basically i will keep my store in this file and also i will create a constant so like i can dispatch different actions right so constant dot js so constant of this index.js right and i as i said just to save some time i'm gonna tell you what everything means so here you can find the link in the description of this video state management using react hooks api click on this i've recently created this post and here first create basic store that can be passed through the component right so i'm going to use this code to create this store so let's copy this and here i'm going to say paste so i'm importing create context use context and react so create context to creating this store so this is like a store and you can have some values in this store and that can be distributed through the uh, through the whole uh, application right and here i'm using use context as the method uh, within a method right so whenever i will call i will get a fresh uh, updated object right update updated data next uh, let's save this after that uh, now create a reducer to update the state and we are going to use reducer hook for that so let's copy this stuff and this is our reducer and here i'm going to say so this is our reducer and these dot dot dots are like things we need to remove that's an invalid syntax save and this is our reducer right and we need to this is just a normal function nothing else required over here okay and now create a store provider method right so here is our store provider method copy this and i'm gonna say after this so this is our store provider method and here we are passing our components right so this is this is going to be our app component so and that i'm going to i'm going to treat as a children and then passing inside this and this store provider this one right so this is a store provider using over here store.provider when we use create contacts then it provides some pro, uh, component that's a provider and whatever we are going to pass we can pass in the value and we are passing an array within it with a state and dispatch and here we are using user reducer, so we need to import the user reducer. Use reducer. Cool. So here we have use reducer, and this is the reducer method we have over here, and this is the object. So this is an initial object, and this is empty right now. Save it, and I'm gonna say name. Uh, let's just type something and see if it's working or not. So I can't say. So here this reducer and this is going to return a default state and we will have this initial string name as one con, right? So save this and let's go and see how it works. So now you can simply import this store provider, means this one store provider, uh, in your app component and wrap it. So like this. And if you want to use state and dispatch actions, use use store. So if you want to use, if you want to get the state, then simply uh, use this method use store. So let's go to the underscore app.js file and here I'm going to say uh, let's import that. Okay, so here let's copy this layout and paste over here. Here I'm going to say store provider and now it's imported from the client context folder and now let's paste your layout as it is. So no change. So this is our store provider. And let's go to any other component. Let's go to the header. So here we have uh, context and 
various components yeah. components header and then right and here we're gonna say comp and how you're gonna use this simply go and you can use this one so we have to import this your store basically so simply say you store and now you store is imported from the context and as I told you this gives an array so we can get the value like state and then dispatch so this is the first value dispatch is the second value and here we we'll say console dot log and here we we'll say what's the state state this now let's see how it's working so I simply go inspect and here is the console and let's give it another space console and let's refresh and here we have got the state and here is the state name is one card so this is how we are going to use uh, how we are going to update the state and get the state uh, in our components right so that's fine cool now let's go to the login folder and here we are first let's create some uh, constants constants yes say export and here we're going to say pop constants right and this needs to be a variable so let's save this so these are the constants we're going to use and uh, let's let's go to your index.js file and here is our initial uh, state this is what we are passing over here and exactly the same we are done over here so we'll simply add a user over here so we'll say user and this is going to have like variables like authenticated initial value will be false authenticating that is also false when we are making a request that time authenticating false and uh, we'll say error says error null for the moment so here's the user and authenticated authenticating error save this and couple of other parameters will be here but just let ignore for them for now we'll we'll simply send a dispatch an action and add those within the user that is good save this and let's go to the login index.js file and here we are uh, looking the error if there is no error it means the login is success right let's remove this it's not required anymore and here we will say const session we'll make another request wait get session okay and here we are going to say dispatch uh, we need to get that uh, store right we say use store okay Put this use to and here we're gonna say state dispatch and here we're gonna say dispatch and type that is going to be auth constant dot login request and here we are gonna say dispatch You're going to say type of constants dot log in success and then payload. So payload is going to be session. So whatever the session and in session we'll get like user ID, name, email, and also an image property that is going to be null because we are not using image session over here. Right? And then we'll replace uh, we'll log into the another we'll navigate to the another user. And if there is an error, we will dispatch and say type of constant stop log in failure. And we will say payload and the simply result will show the error. Result dot error. Okay, so we'll save this and let's go to the reducer. So here we are and here we're gonna handle some cases like 
scale or constraints dot uh, log in request and here we're going to say return directly return and then we'll say state and here we'll say user and here we'll say authenticating uh, that is true because we are making the request now and uh, that's all and we'll say state dot user we we'll spread the state dot user as it is next state will be auth constant dot uh, login success and we're going to say return and say spread the state and then we'll say user and here we're going to say sorry here we're going to say uh, action dot payload dot user sorry action dot payload uh, that's all because payload is nothing but session and next we're going to say user sorry authenticating that is going to be false and authenticated that is going to be true and that's all uh, action dot payload and uh, done okay now another case failure or constants dot lock in failure we'll say come on we'll say state state and then we'll say user and here we'll say state dot user whatever we got we'll simply split and within the error we'll say action dot failure Okay, so let's go and check uh, what we are sending on the login. It's a uh, payload, that's an error. It's payload, that's a session. So here we go again. We'll create a separate reducer file. Do not worry, just for the moment, we need to handle this. So user state error and authenticated will be false by default. Cool. So let's save this and try this thing working or not. Okay, uh, so we have something in our header component, right? So we are logging this state and we'll see uh, we got this state variable or not. Okay, so let's refresh this, let's go to the sign in. Now, here you're gonna say hash and then sign in. Okay, so action is not defined. Actor, mm, okay, spelling incorrect. Index and so that action. Action. Okay, save. Now let's try this thing again. Here we're going to say hash spread password sign in in the home page. Remove this, all the pop ups, and open the state. And here you're going to say user authenticating false, authenticated true, and then we have a user object, and then we have email, ID and finally the name of the user so with these values we can hide this button okay so let's go to the header component and here we are so um, i will simply go and use const and here we'll say what i want i want the user right so user and authenticated i will simply say user equals to uh what is the get value and we'll pass state and then here we're gonna say uh, state uh, user and then again a user so there are two users actually okay that's a problem uh, we are doing something wrong so let's go to the index.js and here we are if authenticated login success payload we're passing this user Okay, in the session we have this user property. So action dot payload dot user, right? Okay, save it and say and comment this here. Now let's go to the sign button and let's hit the request. Enter the password. Do the sign in. Log in success. You can see the action 
all the factors and we are not doing this log right so we should do the log okay we have to do it again do not worry it's fine then and do the hash sign in and here are the pop-ups let's open this state state and then within the state we have user and then we have this authenticated right so we'll copy this authenticated property and here we're gonna say state user and authenticated right state dot user dot authenticated and here we're gonna say authenticated this is authenticated const user equals to get value and then say state and here simply say user right default value will be like null and here's the default value will be false not authenticated save this and here's the link here we're gonna say authenticated authenticated true then we're gonna expose this one okay and in place of this one we're gonna say uh what is that user dot name right and okay cool it should authenticate if that's a false we'll also show this link but this time it will be like welcome guest and here instead of profile we're just gonna home directory uh, home path okay welcome guest Nails X is correct and there is a link path sign up. Authenticated, that's true. Then we are gonna show a logo here. Copy. And here we need to have a log out button, but uh, we don't have any functionality right now right now. So we'll simply just change the text log out and let's remove this log out and else case will show both the buttons within the fragment okay so let's again format this document with previous so here we are and let's try this thing working or not so as you can see we are getting this ash and then we're getting this logout button and where's the logout button and let's remove this in the logout detail save now it's perfect okay so we have this logout button when we click on this logout button we'll log out the user but we don't have any functionality right now ash over here and let's forcefully destroy the application so here we are say application and here we are gonna say clear okay and let's try this thing now reload you can see sign in and sign up welcome guest let's do the sign in here we're gonna say ash and then password sign in so you see ash and the logout option we're getting okay so it's absolutely working fine in the next video we'll work on protecting our route right so we have routes like login sign up those routes should be uh, user should not visit if he is authenticated right and we should not allow uh, unauthenticated user to visit the profile page so we'll protect those routes in the coming videos thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe have a nice day